Happening now as other southern states are keeping an eye on Hurricane Matthew, the cleanup begins for folks on the eastern coast of Florida. Even though hundreds of thousands are now without power, the region did avoid the worst case scenario of a direct hit. We send our News Channel 5's Jason Lamb down to Vero Beach, Florida, where everyone is now cleaning up. Any other day in Vero Beach, Florida, a scene like this. Well, the tree fell over and we're just trying to get it up. Would not be greeted with reactions. We're just thankful. Like this. Yeah, we've just lucked out again. But early Friday morning was not just any other day. As Hurricane Matthew hammered Florida's Space Coast early this morning, it took down the Ocean Grill's famed decades old sea grape tree. It's just part of history with the Ocean Grill. It's been here so long, it takes a long time to get a sea grape this big. But consider restaurant manager Daxel Taylor. The tree blew down and the lights went out. With the pain Hurricane Matthew could have inflicted overnight on his waterfront restaurant, you too might call their storm damage limited to this single tree pretty lucky. That's a good day that your tree fell and not the building fall in the ocean. The ocean grill made it safely through a harrowing night. We're lucky it stayed off the coast like it did. After a hurricane that put any other day in perspective. We dodged a bullet. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. There have been three deaths confirmed in Florida during Hurricane Matthew. One woman suffered a heart attack. Another man had difficulty breathing and later died. The third victim was a woman who went outside to feed her animals and was hit by a falling tree. <laughs>